Should unbelievers celebrate the new year? Well, if there was ever a year when everyone should celebrate a new year, it's probably this year. I understand that 2020 has been uh, an amazing and shocking and stunning ride, and I wouldn't blame anyone for at least holding out hope that turning the calendar is going to turn our fortunes. I don't think it's actually true that that's going to make much of a change, but I understand why people would. That said, there's a reason why I'm asking this question. I, we, we've asked it before about Thanksgiving. We've asked it about Christmas, and you're going to get something of a, a similar kind of answer here. Uh, I am not suggesting that uh, unbelievers are not allowed to have fun or anything of that sort. I am suggesting, however, that if we look at what the new year actually means and what specifically it means for those who are outside of Christ, uh, it would seem to me to be the last thing that I would do to want to celebrate the new year. Here's why. Whatever else may be going on in a particular year, however good or bad a year we may have individually or corporately as the whole of the human race, one thing does happen with every trip around the sun that our planet makes, and that is this. Every year, we get one year closer to the end of all time. Now, I'm not here to tell you when that's going to be or how many years away it is. I am here to tell you that this year, 2021, it will be one year closer than it was in 2020. And we know what happens at the end of time. At the end of time, full and final judgment is made by the living God. And all those whose uh, sins, whose wrongs uh, have not been covered by the blood of Christ, by embracing that work in faith, all of them will find themselves facing eternal torment, a torment for which every new year does not get you any closer to the end. And so every new year on this plane, in this world, in the here and the now, gets them closer to a place where the torment will have no end. And by the way, a place where everyone that is there suffering the wrath of God in hell would do anything in their power to come back to 2020 and live through this all again. The eternal... Uh, shame uh, uh, of hell is not worthy to be compared uh, with our present challenges. So yeah, if, if we're honest, if we're outside the faith and we're honest, because one of the things we know is that uh, those outside the faith, those that we call unbelievers, do know very well that there is a God. They know very well that God is righteous and holy. They know very well that they don't measure up all things we all know, apart from Christ or in Christ. Either way, we all know this. Uh, and before we become believers, that knowledge is something that we suppress. We push it down. We try to deny it. We whistle as we walk past the graveyard. But we know what's coming. And that's why that whistling as we walk past the graveyard, it's like the clock struck another hour to show us that the final hour is an hour closer. And so it is with the new year. Now, that said, when I speak about unbelievers, I hope everyone understands that uh, every one of us was an unbeliever once, and every believer was an unbeliever once, and every unbeliever, if they repent, if they turn to Christ, if they acknowledge their sin and their need for God's grace, if they beat their breasts and cry out, Lord, be merciful to me, a sinner then they will then have every reason to celebrate every new year because it will get them closer to paradise. 
So there's no reason yet to lose hope. As long as there's life, there's hope. But there is reason to remember this, that today is the day of salvation.